Hi my lovely viewers, how are you guys doing today? Today we are gonna open up some more FabFitFun sale hauls. Um, these boxes have been laying around, I'm behind, and they are from the Everything Under the Sun sale and the Summer Edit sale. Um, I have these papers, so that's pretty much, um, I looked up the prices, and I just never opened these on camera. So let's go ahead and see what I got. The first thing I'm pulling out, I did open up to show um, Shyla, my son's girlfriend, because I thought it was cute. But it is just a kimono, and it is from um, Spiritual Gangster Maya Kimono. It was $8.99, and they said the retail value was something like $90. So I did go ahead and buy it. I don't know if I'll wear it or not, maybe. But I thought it was cute. So, it just looks like this, and I guess you can probably tie it, I don't know how you would tie this, like this maybe? So, anyway, I thought it was cute, for $8.99, why not? Alright, next thing I bought is this, it's um, CZ by, let's see what is it by? Kenneth J. Lane, and it looks like that. It is a necklace, and it was, I think, $17. So it looks like this, just has the two cubic zirconia things right there and I thought it was pretty so why not I'll probably be wearing that in my next video all right next thing I got were two of these um, no BS retinol night cream because I had run out of retinol my um, Sunday Riley is all gone so I figured I would try this and I do like this brand no BS because basically they don't add any crap it's just all natural stuff I think Aloe vera, vitamin E, and hyaluronic acid is also in here. And those were $14 each. All right, I got another free beach ball. Got a bunch of those laying around. I got the Invisibobble in gold and pink, and these were $7, and you get six total. I do like these. Um, they're supposed to not damage your hair, and I have a ton of them, so I figured I'll get some backups, put some of those in my work bag. Uh, next thing is Volition Prismatic Luminizing Shield SPF 50. I'm always looking for a good sunscreen. I've had so many lately that leave a white cast, and so I can't wear them. I can't wear them at all because my face is white. Like white, not white. <laughs> but I'll try that. I do like this brand. We got that snow mushroom serum that everybody loved, so I will try an SPF by them. Um, next thing is this, and it is a tote bag from White House Black Market, which is a really high-end store. Their stuff is really nice. Um, back when we used to go to malls, um, I did shop at one. So here's the tote bag. It's navy blue and white, and it has these handles, and it looks like that. It was $6.99, and I figure, you know, heck, another tote bag can use it as a beach bag, I can fold it up and put it in my suitcase and take it to work, and then if I buy anything on a layover, I could use that as a reusable shopping bag. I don't know, lots of purposes for this, and it was only $6.99, and like I said, that White House Black Market brand is expensive. So, all right, next thing. Ooh, I'm gonna save, I've got two mystery bundles. They're sitting in here, I'm gonna save those for last. Um, I also picked up these, um, the same brand, CZ by Kenneth J. Lane, and these are just little um, cubic zirconia studs for my ears. I do like to wear cheap jewelry, that way if it somehow gets lost, um, it's okay. I do have real diamond earrings that I don't wear. I should probably start, but I'm always afraid I'm gonna lose them on a layover, and then that's it, you'll never get it back. But I got one of them in this little bag, let's see. So it just looks like that, it's just a little fake diamond stud. So I will definitely wear those. And I got two of them, and I think they were $7.99 each maybe, $7 each. So, you know, I can't lose with that. All right, next thing, I got two of these. These are Ahava 
which we all love that brand. Um, it is made in Israel, I believe, but I got two of these magnesium rich deodorants. They're roll-ons, and I do like natural deodorant. The kind I wear is native, and it does kind of leave gunk under your arms, but you don't smell. You will sweat, but you don't smell at all. I've had 13 hour days on an airplane, going, 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 and I definitely sweat, but I, when I get to the hotel, I smell my dress, and it smells perfectly fine. So that's the main reason I use the native, is because I know it'll protect me all day long, but I'm gonna try this mineral deodorant and see how that works. Um, I don't know, I'm excited to try something different. I do like natural deodorants. And those were $9 each. All right, next thing I'm pulling out is Siate London Everyday Vacay. This is the coconut setting powder. And this was only $5.99, so I went ahead and grabbed one of those. I think I already have this and I like it, so I got another one. All right, next thing, I got two of these, um, the Neogen, there we go, two sunscreens. They are SPF um, 30, it looks like, 50, SPF 50, and it says daylight protection. So I got two of those, and those cost $11 each, so another sunscreen for me to try. Next thing is this, and this is actually perfect timing. It is by Chella. It is eyeliner, and... It is purple, which is awesome. I'm gonna use this eyeliner in my collaboration I'm doing where we do one color on our face and the first week we're gonna do purple. So now I have a purple eyeliner. So since I'm gonna use it, let's go ahead and open it and see what it looks like. Oh, it's all wrapped up. Hmm. I might, I'll wait. I'll show it to you guys when I do that video. So it's totally wrapped up in plastic, so I will leave that all together. All right, next thing I am pulling out, which is perfect. It wasn't a summer sale, but guys, winter's around the corner. It is this, and it is um, Jenny or Jeannie, Eugenia Kim hat. And this was, I think, $6.99? Yes, but they said it had a retail value of something crazy. I can't even remember. $40, $50, $60 for a hat. and. For $5.99, I figured it was cute. I live in Colorado. I will definitely be able to use this in the winter. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. <laughs> anyway, I think it's cute. I will wear it in Colorado and I will be cute. I do have a black coat, so it'll be perfect with it. And it will be warm and it is soft and I like it. So, let's see what it did to my hair. Oh, it's fine. Okay, cute. And let's see, the last two things in here are mystery bundles. Yay, $29 each. I got two from two different sales. And this one was from, I believe, the sale we just did. Um, the fall add-on sale. And here's what it looks like. It's number is that. And let's go ahead and see what I got. Might need to cut this string. Okay. So first thing I'm pulling out is from Wish, and it is a renewing mud mask, which is fine. I do like mud masks, and I do like Wish. So got a mud mask. Second thing is this, which it looks like it might be a scarf. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So yes, it's definitely a scarf, but it has a pocket. So that's kind of cute. I think you could probably use it like as a wrap as well. Let's see. twisted but yeah you could just use it as a wrap this would be something nice for me to carry and have um, at work and when I'm on the airplane deadheading or just commuting to work I can pull this out and use it as a blanket because it's this big so I think that's really cute I do like that does it have a brand it's by 
Oh, Summer and Rose, which is just, you guys know Fat Fit Fun's kind of made up brand. They make their own stuff and they call it Summer and Rose. All right, next thing is from Sika Care Balm. And it looks like it's just a protective balm. It's like that. My hands are so, so, so dry. Like, I just put lotion on, but right here and right here is like sandpaper. It is so dry. So if this is a balm that I can use on my hands, maybe I'll put it on before I go to bed so it can soak in. I'm definitely gonna try it. Just looks like that, just like a lotion. It smells herbal, kind of like essential oils, and it feels nice. So I got hand cream, and last thing is this, and it's all puffed up because I told you guys, I live at um, altitude. <laughs> I live at 8,500 feet altitude, and so things puff up. But it's this, it's julep, and it's just makeup, um, hydrating bamboo, water cleansing cloths, and I will definitely use this or I'll put it in a giveaway. I do have a few, I think, um, makeup removers that I'm already using, but that's it. So for my first bundle in the fall sale, I got the makeup remover wipes, the balm, the mud mask from Wish, and I got the scarf, so, or wrap or whatever you wanna use it as. So that was a pretty good bundle. And then my next bundle looks like this. It looks like I got five things. So let's go ahead and see. This one was from the summer edit sale. First thing, champagne kiss. It looks like I got a candle. Oh, it smells really good. It just looks like that. And it's in this really cute tin. Ah, uh, I wanna burn this, but I could also use this as a gift. What to do, what to do, but that's cool. My second thing. Is, oh, it looks like a two-piece set from Sensuals. Um, it's a body lotion and a hand cream. I got orange geranium and grapefruit turmeric. Looks like that. So I guess that is four things. No, I still have one, two, three, four. Yeah, so this is just, I guess, one thing. So it's four things, but it's a set of two. And next thing is from... Defense Hydra Shield Ultra Moisturizing Face Serum. Looks like that. I have not heard of this brand, but serums are usually expensive. Most of them are usually $30 plus. So I'm happy to have that, a new serum to try. And last thing in this bundle is from Juice Beauty. Um, Phyto Pigments Pigment Lip, Liquid Lip, sorry. Looks like that. Let's go ahead and see what color it is. Oh, it's cute. It's peach, peachy pink. So it just looks like that. Okay, pretty good. What do you guys think? Which bundle is better? In this one, we got the liquid lipstick from Juice Beauty, which I do like that brand. A really, really cute candle, a face serum, and a body lotion and hand lotion. So comment below, first or second bundle, which one was better? And there is a FabFitFun sale open right now. I am trying not to shop it. I really am, guys. I'm trying really hard not to shop it. And then BoxyCharm pop-up or add-on or whatever it had just closed, and I did make one purchase because um, I had a $10 off coupon. So we'll have that coming here soon. But just trying to get through some of these boxes. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And again, comment below, first or second bundle, which one was better. Bye, my lovely viewers, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.